Hugh Martins. Must have been five years ago. But I still remember it as if it were only yesterday. My last mission as Lieutenant of the Military Services for International Control. If it wasn't for Hugh, I wouldn't be here today. It's time to repay the debt. Q. Joshua, it's been a long time. Too long. What's the score? Always straight to the point. Okay. Terrorists have targeted the Genesis cryogenetic enterprise. Up to now, we haven't been able to stop them. So, where do I come in? I figured you could succeed where others have failed. My position as city governor is at risk. Genesis was my major supporter at the last election. And if I don't get results soon, I'll be history. Okay, so why these attacks on Genesis? Who knows? There seems no apparent motive. But I think they're attacking Genesis to get at me. Yeah, you've made some dangerous enemies. Comes with the territory. Anyway, we infiltrated the terrorists. My top officer, Simon Ruby, went in. His cover as a journalist seems secure, but... What went wrong? It's not clear. We've had no contact with him since yesterday, and that's not Simon's style. You think they got to him? We don't know. I hope not. We found these in his car. Traveling light? It's all we have. Joshua, I'd like you to start at his apartment. See what else you can find. Let's assume I find these terrorists. What then? We'll give you a new identity. I'll add your name to the police database. Your cover will be a guy from New Orleans working in the field of integrated security systems. This guy stole some documents from Genesis. With this cover, you should be able to infiltrate the group. Good. What should I do if I get to them? Do nothing. Lie low and let me know where you are. At that point, you'll need serious backup. Take this. Use it to contact me when the time is right. Okay, Hugh. I'll do my best. After all, I owe you one. Later. And welcome to Nightlong, a Union City conspiracy. Now, this is an old game. It was released in 1998. And like all old games, they, there might be problems when trying to record this. So I won't be releasing this until I've played through the whole thing. Just to make sure I don't get stuck on an unpassable bit. But this is a game I had never in my life heard about until a couple of days ago. And what drew me to it was that it kind of gave me the atmosphere and the mystery and the general 3D polygon E of uh, The Longest Journey. So I needed, I needed to know. And um, judging from the cutscene that we just watched, its um, dialogue is a little stale, I'll give him that. It's a little robotic. And we're a detective, as far as I understand. Although, I don't exactly prefer his attire, but I guess that was cool in the late 90s. Personally, I prefer a nice suit and hat, but he has exchanged those for douchebag glasses and not even hair. But stick around, I have a good feeling about this one. I hope that's not foreshadowing. So what do we got? Credit notes. My credits. All in tens. All in tens. More like all in tents. It's the two-way audio-visual device that Hugh gave me. It's not time to call Hugh yet. Maybe later. Ah, since I just got here. Um, elevator cards. It's one of Ruby's cards that Hugh gave me. Ruby's cards, right. So Ruby, the guy that was investigating that whole thing, is missing. He didn't check in. It's one of the objects that Hugh gave me. Magnetic pen. 
It's one of the items that Hugh handed to me in the air car. Gotcha. Right, we got a rail. Ah, in true 90s fashion game, you can't run. The railing surrounds the whole roof. It appears to be made of steel. Hmm. It's one of the objects that Hugh gave me. I want to use it with the rail. I cannot do that. The railing surround... It, it seems pretty... pretty rickety. A barrier. Don't do that. That's dangerous. It's no use. It won't budge. It won't budge. Nor do I have anything to budge it with. There's been some kind of collision here. One of the bars looks sort of loose. Hmm. I want those bars. Simple navigation lights. Parking an air car without them is suicide. Gotcha. So we are in the future. As I read, we're in 2099 and there are air cars. Simple navigation. Better leave them on in case anyone else decides to park here. Fair enough. Cool. Nice balance. Very cool. Latest model C5, nice and sleek. Pity I haven't time to take it for a spin. And it's also not your car. <laughs> Too heavy. Too heavy to pick up, right. Fairly standard model. I much prefer the other. Yes, it does look way more sporty. Alright, nothing that way. And here we just have a building. And a door. There's a door. I should try that. Oh. Oh, such a good detective. Oh my god, we're gonna be such a great match. <laughs> it's the rooftop entrance to the apartment block. Alright, let's go in. Well, let's look at the door first. No, I can't look at the door. I can only operate it. Ah, look at that pixelated goodness. It does resemble a little bit the longest journey but the longest journey had way nicer visuals the usual stuff something about kids playing on the roof and people reversing air cars is the tenancy regulations elevator what else letterboxes map get your maps the map is large and fairly detailed Oh my, is it fairly detailed? Oh my. <laughs> hmm, a map of the structure. There are eight floors of apartments and the subway entrance in the basement. Standard numbered letter boxes. So, I should probably have a key for it. Damn, it's stuck. Jesus, I nearly broke it. I'd better leave it. Wow, you suck at opening letter boxes. Come on. It's not the right key to open this lock. Ah, that's what he meant. Wow, you really must have shoved it in there. <laughs> you must be very powerful. It's the fire door. Probably from the emergency staircase. The elevator is called by using the button on the panel. Wow, he knows everything about everything. The elevator isn't here. Maybe I should call it. Yes, more sass, please. It's used to call the elevator. So use it. Damn, it's not working. Maybe because... Damn, I overdid it. <laughs> what do you mean you overdid it? Did you press it like fifth? Oh, wow. You did overdo it. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> what did you do? It was out of order, but thanks to me, it's busted. Wow. <laughs> yep. He seems to be a powerful dude, with the keys, and the letter boxes and the elevator buttons. <laughs> hmm. The fuse is blown. The wire between the contacts is burnt out. Dude, how did you manage that? You blew the fuse. <laughs> Alright, magnetic pen, maybe. Nope. So I got the fuse that you blew by pressing this button too much. It's the elevator fuse. It's blown. 
So what do I do with that? With your mistake? Your shame? <laughs> no point. It's damaged. Yep. Elevator It's card. one of Ruby's cards that Hugh gave me. Maybe we should have used this? <laughs> Just saying. Okay. The elevator isn't here. Maybe I should call it. Maybe you should. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's not time to call Hugh yet. Maybe later. It's the fire door. It's no use. It's locked from the other side. All right. Other side. There's not much we can do here. Yeah, since you broke the elevator. So let's go back outside. Leads out onto the roof where I arrived. Leads out. It's interesting because you use things with the right click, which is strange. What happens if I go that way? It doesn't exactly tell me that there's extra screens. Ah, there is nothing there. Gotcha. I am intrigued about this barrier, though, but I don't think I can do anything about it. It's no use. It won't budge. There's been some kind of collision here. One of the bars looks sort of loose. Oh, wait a second. I thought this was a rogue pixel. But there's foil on the road. I guess I need to do to do more careful pixel hunting. Piece of foil paper. Probably from cigarettes or gum that some louse dropped. Some louse. Alright, and now I think I know what to do with this. It's a piece of aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. We take that with the fuse. Okay, done. Done. Does that do anything to it as in does will it make it work? It's the elevator fuse wrapped in aluminum foil. Let's see if that works. I get the impression that it's a conductivity thing, but I don't know why. It's the elevator fuse. This should do the trick. Oh yeah. Now. Try not to press it too many times. It's used to call the elevator. I know. Okay. I should use the card that Hugh gave me. Looks like the elevator is the only way in. It's expecting a card. And it will get it. It's one of Ruby. Mr. Ruby. Great. It thinks I'm Ruby. The floor to my apartment first. To my apartment. Now, which one is my apartment? Wouldn't it say? It's one of Ruby's cards that Hugh gave me. No. Pen pad. Vending machine. Ooh, in a block? That's... that's pretty cool. Very handy. Five credits for a Swiller Light beer. Pity it doesn't sell Septemberfest, my favorite. Septemberfest. Excellent. Very... Whoever said that the best things in life are free were sadly mistaken. It's five creds for a beer. Is that expensive? Let's get one. Cheers. Ooh, a coin. Where's my beer? Ah, oh, there it is. It's a can of cheap-looking, probably disgusting beer. Probably. It's a five-credit coin. Nice. Now I've got change. It says 18 M. Robinson. Can I disturb Mr. Robinson? No point in hassling the neighbors. 
It's Ruby's apartment that I'm interested in. Fair enough. It's a magnetic reader, but it's been deactivated. Yet more security. It's a magnetic reader, used to open the door to the apartment. I see. What is this door? I want to disturb all the neighbors. This apartment appears to be empty, which is very strange in Union. True. In the future, I imagine overpopulation is real a real problem in, in cities. It says 17 S. Ruby. Okay, this has to be his place. Okay. Yet more security. Perhaps if I used it correctly, it might work. You know what? That's a that's a very good observation. Maybe it's the key. Although I doubt it. Nope. It's probably the magnetic pen. Nah, I could try with Ruby's signature, but I'm not sure how to do it. Yet more security. It's a magnetic reader used to open the door to the apartment. Well, I saw a lot of buttons on the reader, but I can't press any of them. Why don't you just mash all the buttons and uh, we'll just fix it? <laughs> that seemed to work. No way through here. Looks like it's some kind of floor maintenance. I can see the subfloor pipes. No way through here. Looks like it's some kind of floor maintenance. I can see the subfloor pipes. No point risking injury. There's nothing of interest on the other side. Fair enough. Hmm. I'm pretty convinced that this is the letterbox key. So if he would just gently mash it in, we would probably open it. We're gonna try it again. Um, elevator card, minicom, money. Can I get another beer? Very handy. Whoever said that the best... It's a five credit coin. Yeah. Nah, better not. I guess we shouldn't be drinking on the job. All right, let's go down again. It's used to call the elevator. It's the only way I can get at... Much more, Mr. Ruby. Let's go back to the rooftop. Up to the roof. Because now we know which apartment it, he lived in. So we know not to mash in, not to try it on random letterboxes. Maybe it'll work now. It's not the right key to open this lock. It's not the, oh, hey, I saw something. Look for number 17. It said, I, could, I swear I saw that. Standard numbered letter boxes. Locked. Locked. I swear I saw something 17. Where are you? Ah, ha ha. There we go. Hmm, 17. This letter box has the same number as Ruby's apartment. Great. It's locked tight. Of course it is, because we need- It's one of the items. We need the right key for it. There we go. It's one of Ruby's letters returned to sender. It's got a signature on too. Oh, that's just, that's just dandy. It's one of Ruby's letters. With the signature, it couldn't be, couldn't be better. Looks like the elevator is, look. It's really weird to have the action on the right click. Much more, Mr. Ruby. Back to my place. To my apartment. Now we take the letter and use it with the pen pad. Did it work? I've put Ruby's letter over the pen pad. Ah, so now I can write... It's one of the op... Yes, I get it. I thought it would just scan the signature.
there we go. Ah, why are all apartments <laughs> in the future very 70s looking? It's better left here. Besides, it's not my style. Yeah, it's not anyone's style as far as I know. Whoever furnished this place obviously had a sense of humor. I mean, yes. This guy gets me. Small, compact, and covered in dust. Ruby obviously didn't watch much TV. Or he hasn't been here in a while. Nice tank with loads of tropical fish. Nice to meet at least some intelligent life in Union. Oh, burn. Wow. But the fish aren't dead, so he hasn't been gone for long. I'd better leave them be. Yeah. Oh, a fax machine! No I've way! I've got no messages or notes to send to anyone right now. No way is there a fax machine in the, in the distant future. It's fairly old, but it looks like it's still working. There are no messages on it. What is this, uh, table? Nice table. Not my style, but it does the job. I mean, I wouldn't have called it a table if it didn't say it was a table. It's more like a bench. Hmm. It says Rotmal, 17. 11.55 p.m. Location and a number. Location and a time. Maybe that's where he went. It says Rotmal. It's a note written by Ruby. Written by Ruby. I do like, though, this little corner with the sofa and the aquarium. It's very serene. It looks almost new. It's very comfortable, but I've got no time to waste. Yep, you relaxed all of two seconds on it. <laughs> Busy man. This small kitchenette is obviously meant for a bachelor. It's not very clean either. Disgusting. The only thing cooking right now is this plot. <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready for that, for their wall breaking. It's a photo of Ruby with an attractive brunette. I've no idea who she is, but if it's not a relative, he's a lucky guy. Lucky guy. And this is the fridge? Oh, that, I'm fascinated by that. Let, let me pick up this photo. Nothing special. It keeps things cold and it works. It, it is interesting looking. I'll take the vodka. Seems a shame to leave it. <laughs> You go, man. <laughs> you must be kidding. The contents are hardly appetizing. Except for the vodka, I guess. Sour milk and a poorly cooked steak. Nothing else. You must be kidding. I must be kidding. There's nothing much I could use it for. An empty photo frame. I like that he took the photo, but left the frame. How nice. There's nothing of interest here. I'll leave it. You'll leave the shelves. Very good. What about the trash can? There's always something there. There's something at the bottom of the can. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's a subway card. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. It's a bottle. Half full of vodka. It's a Union Metro subway card. Just a small table with coffee on it. Hold on, this character does seem to have hair. In the poster, he doesn't appear to have too much hair. Hmm. Nah. Nah. Just a small table with coffee on it. Leads into another room. I guess that's what doors do. Oh, 
Wow, that's a pretty spacious bedroom, holy shit. It looks as big as my apartment. Is that a frying pan on the table? Hmm. It's an empty glass, but it's obviously been used recently. And the other one was knocked over. A built-in wardrobe with a sliding door. I like that. I'm no fashion guru, and neither was Ruby. Yikes. Ruby, you're in trouble. Fashion police is gonna get you. Ruby was certainly cautious. There's a safe hidden here. Hmm. It's a household safe built into the wall. It's locked. Of course it is. Hmm. Don't have much of Ru else of rubies. <laughs> and we definitely don't know the combination. Let's keep looking. Old books and bits and pieces, nothing of interest. It's coming away from the wall, but I'm not here on any DIY mercy mission. Not much bigger than a camp bed. If I was tired, I think I'd prefer the sofa. I mean, it looks pretty nice. It's a floating bed. Just a few drab clothes, nothing more of note. It's a small cabinet with three drawers. It's a small cabinet with three drawers. Socks, vests, boxer shorts, the usual stuff. Nothing interesting. Hmm, we're not finding much in this place. Except the... Except the safe. A cheap print. I've seen it a thousand times before. Damn, nothing hidden behind it. But I guess that would be too obvious. What, well, and the wardrobe wouldn't? Another plastic masterpiece. What is it with these people? What's wrong with plastic plants? I mean, it looks fine. No point talking to it. It's hardly likely to grow or flower. If it's plastic, yeah. It's not hardly likely. It's very likely. <laughs> it won't grow. Closed window. Nothing of note. A breathtaking view of a gray and dismal alleyway. Fantastic. What does the switch do? Raises the shutter. Oh. It's already up. Won't go any further. Closed window. Aha! I lowered the shutter and there is some tape. The roller shutter is down. It won't budge. There's a piece of sticky tape near the top of the shutter. Cool! A small key was hidden under the tape. Oh yeah! We're gonna open that safe. It's the key that was hidden on the shutter behind the window. But not before we check the other door. I guess this leads to the bathroom. Anybody home? Nope. Nobody home. It's a tiny, uncomfortable bathroom. A collection of small bottles. Nothing more. Take them all. One of them has to be alcohol. No use to me. Because they're not alcohol? We know. Damn, Josh, you look rough. Um, yes, Josh, you do. Take off those silly glasses. <laughs> nah, I've seen enough. It's a time. No time for that. Doesn't look like there's enough space anyhow. Oh yeah, so the bathroom is too, too small for your m hunking body. Got it. Nothing in the bathroom. Nothing that I can see being useful. So let us open that safe. Open that safe. An old revolver and a tube containing some kind of liquid. 
It's the copy of a report that Ruby sent Hugh yesterday morning. Thanks to his cover as a journalist, he's managed to make contact with the suspects. But as yet, he hasn't discovered anything more. He's sure he's found the right people. Ruby thinks that there's much more to this than basic terrorism. The suspects seem to be controlled by some greater power. It isn't clear where their HQ is, but it sounds like some deserted underground tunnel. Shame he went missing before he could find out more. There's a forensic report on the liquid in the tube, and it appears to be a powerful synthesized acid, probably the same one used to corrode the lab's metal locks during the last terrorist attack. Ruby was due to meet them at 11.30 last night, but it doesn't say where. He also mentions a wristwatch fitted with a hidden microphone, which he'd surely have used if he'd gotten into their base. Something here doesn't quite add up. Hugh's got to give me more information. Well, it's time to call Hugh. And man, I wish... I kind of wish they would have gotten another detective speaking person. The dude voicing this character in cutscenes, particularly, is sounding so bored. Come on, man, live a little. You're a detective in the future. You gotta... You gotta, you gotta get into it. It's the two-way off. It's not time to call Hugh yet. Maybe later. It's time now. We need more information. It's an old pistol with just the one bullet in its chamber. It's Ruby with a gorgeous brunette. It's a copy of the last report that Ruby sent to Hugh Martins. It's a tube of synthesized acid that Ruby stole from the terrorists. Hmm. Ruby thinks that the terrorists are using the basement for their movements. Well, I guess we should... Go check out the basement and see what the terrorists are doing. <laughs> hey, terrorists. Do you want some cake? <laughs> Leads out into the hall. How about a cup of tea? <laughs> 